big breaking news also coming in once again as far as this edition of the News Now at One is concerned. What we're getting you right now is this. The former Haryana Minister Gopal Kanda, an accused in air hostess Geetika Sharma's suicide case, has in fact been granted bail. That's the latest coming out right now. And as far as things stand, it's a big uh, relief coming in then Gopal Kanda. Let's get in more from Bhavtosh. Bhavtosh, it's a big relief coming in as far as Gopal Kanda is concerned. Yes, in a way, it's a big relief for him because he was incarcerated for past 13 months and uh, he was arrested in uh, uh, last August and since then he had moved several applications uh, for bail and uh, finally he, he was given an interim bail. Now, one must remember this is an interim bail for a period of 30 days uh, starting from today because he has claimed that he has to attend a single session which starts, uh, in, uh, starts from tomorrow. In fact, the session would be, uh, would take place in Chandigarh and has said that as a as an elected member of Legislative Assembly, he has a right to attend this session and that, I think, went in his favour and the court granted him interim. Now, they have been, uh, he has been told to deposit a surety of 5 lakh rupees. In fact, the public prosecutor last time around had opposed even the interim bail on the grounds that the case is still being investigated, that he's someone who, who had fled the law uh, when uh, the police had issued his summons, and he's a powerful person who can influence witnesses. But the fact that he has been in prison for 13 months and that charges against him have been framed, uh, he's facing trial for abetment to suicide in other sections of the law. Uh, that went in his favor and uh, the court has now given him an interim bail and has asked him to surrender before uh, Tihar jail once the session of uh, Haryana Assembly gets over. Now, Bhavtosh, you know, what he's also been saying is that the police investigation in this case is almost complete and there is nothing now left for the cops to apprehend that he might hamper the case and perhaps that has gone in his favor today. Yes, that probably went in his favor. The fact that charge sheet in this case has been filed, uh, Delhi police had filed a charge sheet last year itself, after which charges against uh, Gopal Golkanda was framed by the court in which he was charged with abetment to suicide and also uh, sections of uh, sexual assault were added against him, uh, which, which was later dropped by the Delhi High Court. Uh, apart from Gopal Golkanda, the other accused in this case is Aruna Chadda. Uh, last week, she also managed to get an interim bail for a period of two months. She claimed that she's a single mother and his daughter is uh, just eight years old. So both the accused in this case are out on interim bail. And, uh, depending on when their interim bail uh, gets over, they have to surrender themselves before the relevant court. Right, Bhavtosh, now what were the arguments that were put forth uh, by Kanda's counsel? It seems the primary reason that has been given forth and put forth is the fact that he needs to ascend, attend the assembly session for which he was actually seeking this interim bail. Is that correct? Yes, that was the primary argument or that was the main argument given by the defense counsel. They said that Kanda is an elected uh, member of Legislative Assembly and he has a right to in the session. Uh, which, this was opposed by the public prosecutor claiming that uh, uh, he has been uh, b been in prison for a long time and uh, in this period he had at least uh, missed two sessions of uh, Assembly uh, uh, of Haryana. Uh, but the defense counsel claimed that he had to be present there. I think that probably went in his favor. The fact that it's just an interim bail, not a regular bail, uh, the police have said that they will even oppose this once they get the copy of the order and will challenge this in the High Court. Now, interestingly, Bhavtosh, you know, we have to remember that it's only about a few days ago that interim bail was also granted to Aruna Chadda, who's a co-accused along with the former Haryana Minister Gopal Kanda that we are talking about. Yes, in fact, uh, the, uh, Aruna Chadda managed to get bail only because she is a single mother and uh, that she had an eight-year-old kid that she has to take care of. Uh, she also claimed in her uh, bail application that uh, her father is very old and is suffering from various medical ailments and that's the reason why she should be out on bail. So that went in favor of, uh, of Aruna Chadda and she was given an interim bail. 